All right. Welcome back. Welcome back. <clears throat> um, I've gotten back to Sanctuary. Uh, we, we went to um, uh, Sunshine Tidings and picked the car up, and it was getting attacked again by robots. Uh, but we picked the car up. We got back to Sanctuary. And um, I have to make sure I'm still recording there. Sorry about that. And um, I built Piper's office. And in one of the little things, this is a writer's desk. It provides happiness. It's an entertainment module. So I put it down in her little office here and I assigned her to it. Um, so she is now providing happiness for Sanctuary just a little bit. And she's doing exactly what I intended for her to do. She's a writer. Uh, she is going to be writing, you know, newspaper articles about the Minutemen and all that good shit. Um, and probably she has her own manuscript down there in a drawer somewhere like most writers do. Uh, so whenever I continue building on, I'll have Preston's office over here. Maybe I'm going to bring Preston back eventually. Um, I had a little bit of trouble with the walls. They may not be exactly straight, but, um, I think it looked okay. And of course there is no inside wall with a doorway that I could really fit in there and make use of, but I mean, it'll, it'll work. I'm fine with this. Um, but that's, that's the one thing I, I got done there. Now I'm going to see if I can make a little bit more ammo before I head off to, uh, the church. Now, um, and I do want to pick up Deacon for a while. Piper was just, uh, I mean, I love her to death. She was just getting on my nerves. Uh, Deacon's going to do the same thing. I can guarantee it. He's going to get on my nerves because they like to, um, I'm going to start keeping my mimes uh, for right now. Uh, electron cells, I get energy cells from that, okay. I need all the energy cells I can get right now. But yeah, I'm going to keep my mines. Uh, I'm going to rip the fusion cells. Um, I gotta have plasma cartridges and even though these give me energy cells, I think I'm going to uh, keep them. You get a lot of stuff from plasma mine, uh, energy cells, explosive material, steel and advanced circuitry. You get all that from plasma mine, but I think I'm going to keep them for right now. Um, and I can make looks like about six stacks of 10 so about 60 more ammo yeah 60 more ammo uh, i put everything else up i'm not going to use the deliverer right now and we have 178 ammo for this thing that'll last for a little while but piper's taken care of she's doing her job now and sanctuary is not really doing that bad they have 71 happiness and it's going up uh whenever i start building the apartment building for everybody all the residents and i put the outhouses out there and i put the waste treatment plant and all that good stuff the happiness will go up some more uh i'm not expecting it to shoot through the roof i'm not expecting 100 percent happiness anywhere um i kind of agree with red rocket tv it's a broken mechanic and i don't like it um, but I mean, there's a lot of things that I don't quite like that I feel like could be adjusted a, a little bit or could have been adjusted. But then on the other hand, there's a shitload of stuff that I love. So you got to take the good with the bad. Um, and we got cricket again. Cricket's always broke and none of the merchants ever have the 500 caps they're supposed to have. Don't Shut the fuck up. Yeah. She has nine caps. She has nine caps. Shut the fuck up before I blow you away. You're on my land. My property. And every one of these guards will shoot you in the face. Fucker. Don't I the Brahmin. I got a girlfriend, bitch. <clears throat> okay. Okay. I 
I believe we can travel to uh, Old North Church now. Yes, we can. Hello. So that's where we're going to go. Now, if you haven't figured out yet why I'm doing this stuff, Radiant Quest. I need more XP. I want to get more levels before I make my mind up on what I'm going to do. Because honestly, everybody's like, oh man, I just go this and I just do that. And it's never a problem for me to decide which one I want to do and blah, blah, blah. It's always a problem for me. Uh, if, if, if I never thought about it, I would go Institute every time. Every single time. If I didn't break it down and think about it and go, well, I need to do something a little bit different for the people that are watching the videos because they don't want to always see me go Institute. If it was up to me, it would be Institute every fucking time. There is no question. I would kill everybody in the fucking game. I'd have a bed in the Institute. The only thing I don't like about the Institute is I can't bring my companions with me. They will not go to the Institute with you. <clears throat> That's the only thing I don't like. I mean, if Piper would go to the Institute, with me every time done and also if you go institute no matter what you could change the entire course of history with the institute piper and nick don't care they're gonna bitch at you for going with the institute every time Just keep loading. Just keep loading. Um, careful. Find a clean spot on that. Got nicotine stains on it. From when I cleaned the TV the other day. <laughs> Sorry, I'm talking to sub. Okay, we finally made it. All right. The car parks right here, and if I'm not mistaken, there's a bad guy over here. Yeah, it's over. Alright, get the load screen over so I can kill this guy. Go away. Okay. Gotta love dirty water. <laughs> All right. The reason I went in and took care of those is when I parked a car here in the past, they've come around the corner on me. So that's not a great place to be parking your car, but hey, it is what it is. And apparently I'm hungry. Killing super mutants is hungry work. Okay, swap out to the one we have a lot of ammo for. Not that I think we're going to get attacked or anything. Oh, wrong turn in Albuquerque. We had one more uh, tunnel to go down. told me you single-handedly secured Carrington's prototype, disabled a minefield, and wiped out a hundred Gen 1s. So is any of that true? Every word he said was true. 
and then some. The full hundred. I can't even imagine. See? Just like I said, boss. I was expecting Deacon to grab the full team, including Glory, to secure that prototype. But instead, just the two of you cleared out the entire system. You'd be insane not to sign her up, Dev. You've certainly made an impression on Deacon. He's never spoken about or lied about anyone so highly before. Welcome to the railroad, Agent. Okay. So here we go. Glad to be aboard. It seems it's very, very much of a plan. So For now. Now I need to know what to call you. Secrecy keeps us alive. Code names are a part of that. So what's yours? Um. Have any, have any suggestions? suggestions? No. It doesn't work like that. Your life, your name, your choice. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, um, I always liked Bullseye from Daredevil, so. Call me Bullseye. From what Deacon says of your fighting skills, Bullseye seems apt. Your first official order is to deliver Dr. Carrington his prototype and see if you can use another pair of hands. But first, it's time to meet the rest of the gang. The location of our HQ is one of our most tightly guarded secrets. So be careful coming in or out. You never can tell when you're being watched. You might not can. Uh, my pit boy says, hey, uh, you hear somebody sneaking up on you, and I know I'm being watched. So I don't know what your fucking problem is. Precautions not to be surprised again. Things are chaotic down here, so there's plenty for you to do. I always liked her outfit. Um, it's just called fatigues, but um, I think it actually looks pretty decent. Now, if you could just put armor over it, it would be even better. Listen up, everyone. This is um, they're that way. She's a full agent. Counting on each of you to show her the way. Feel free to welcome her aboard. That is all. Your team, the road you've chosen. But you're never alone in this. Okay. Ah, um, it's our sound. newest agent. Now, this is one guy I would like to. Testimony told her that we could get this. An extraordinary feat to recover this. But that's hardly the point. Without a lick of training and us knowing hardly anything about you, Des has invited you to join her HQ. It would have been nice if she had consulted with her second in command. But what's done is done. Since you're here now, we might as well put you to work. Um, Tell me what you need, Doc. Not gonna, gonna be an asshole. Needs help with the runaway synth. H2. H2. So headquarters, as always. Puts out the fires that others can't be bothered to put out themselves. Paranoid old bat won't even tell us the problem. He insists that we get our yeah, intel from the dead problem. problem. Sounds like an important mission. It is. Off the switchboard. We're so short-handed, I have little choice but to throw you into the deep end. The dead, dead drop is a mental box with a whale sign on it. It's a common means, means of communication, of communication for us. So keep an eye out for them. When you make contact with Stockton, he won't give you the time of day unless you give the proper counter sign. The current sign is, do you have a Geiger counter? And the counter is, mine is in the shop. Please tell me Deacon taught you that at least. You can trust me with this. I'll get it done. Just, Just don't, don't bollocks, bollocks, bollocks it up too badly. If things go wrong, I'm the one who has to patch everyone back together. Stockton is a prominent businessman at Bunker Hill. I have to work on my charisma, apparently. <clears throat> yeah, apparently I need to work on my charisma. But that was funny. He said, don't bollocks it up too badly. Now I'm going to rob you guys blind. Yeah, me too. Oh, and I gotta find uh, Deacon. Welcome to the family. We're a 
colorful and arguably insane bunch. But you're stuck with us now. Speaking of which, if you don't mind a sidekick, let's keep a good thing going and travel together some more. Don't they need you here? My job <laughs> needs me in these hats. So the more places I go, the better I'm doing it. And you are just one big, beautiful distraction. Plenty of opportunities to learn secrets moving around in your shadow. Let's go then. I'm all ready to go. Alright, so now we have Deacon. And... Oh, that's a nice looking outfit. That's one of the... Uh, I think that's Eleonora's railroad outfit. It beats what Glory's normally wearing. That looks really good. I like that. Uh, but let's meet Pam. I'm here. I'm here. Preliminary adjustments to statistical models complete. Commencing introduction. I was, am, and will most likely be Pam. Predictive analytic machine. Well, <laughs> nice, nice to meet you, Pam. Pam. Introductory token recognized. Nice to meet you, too. Unknown entity, I provide first order approximations of the behaviors of all residents of the region designated commonwealth rephrasing i predict the future what, what? that's amazing, amazing. Awesome. biological life forms behave erratically unpredictably all output is subject to an extremely high margin of error Just how inaccurate are you? The smaller the group, and the greater the time frame, the less accurate I become. But all predictions are affected by the human element. Operation complete. You are a rogue variable. No current or previous models predict your presence or existence. Query. What is your point of origin? I'm from Vault 111. That's what you mean. Yes. Accessing. Cryo vault. Believed destroyed. Conversation terminated. Pending construction of new probability matrix. Rephrasing. Goodbye. I like Pam. All right, and now my favorite guy in the whole place. You call me Rook again? I'm gonna shoot you in the face. I went through a sensor suite. Your business says, "Would well, let me run." Full EMF scan, biological sniffers, and other state-of-the-art security. So the suite says the institute is for <laughs> you or us. But the test is lie, man. <laughs> <laughs> because if is you have, they got you. Yeah, yeah I've, I've eaten, eaten food. food. Oh, 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 I knew it. Yeah. The institute has these tiny microscopic windows in the field, man. That's rubbish. You just don't get it, Carrington. The Institute is in your blood. If that's, if that's true, true, that's, that's terrifying. terrifying. If you have a shred of evidence for any of this, agree. <laughs> Quite terrifying. Okay, okay. If you really want to be safe, let me give you a little shot. Then, th th there's, there's the moment. moment. There's no one has to, but it will kill those little robots. There's battery acid in that serum of yours. You can't nuke an omelet without irradiating some eggs. You ready to suit up? There's, There's no, no way, way in hell I'm letting, letting you do that. that. Let them hear and see everything. Okay, okay. I hope you like your whole life being downloaded to the Institute's mainframe. Actually, Actually I do myself, myself with radiation, radiation to kill them. them. Like, like robots. robots. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather have some hair loss than live in the Institute, huh? Hey, you, you get it, man. 
I make things around here. You, you go and do. You do whatever. Then come back and I will set you up. Let's see what you got. Make yourself comfortable and prepare to be astounded. <sighs> That's why he's my favorite. Tinker Tom is awesome. But again, 308, 357, 38, 44, and 45. That's all the ammo that I've been seeing. Uh, every now and then I'll see somebody that has a fusion cell. Not very often. Uh, most of the time it's just this. So, yeah. Uh, shipments, he does have smokeless powder. But again, I'm almost broke, so. He has fuel. Oh, I need the fuel. But, again, almost broke. Uh-huh. Put that with your feral head, guy. And I'm still keeping these. Uh, there's um, <clears throat> there's some stuff I need to find to try to make the thing work. And I think I've got to get some more. Um, um perks to to do i can't i don't know i'm i've read up on the mod and i'm still uh the jury is still out on that mod so we'll, we'll see we'll have to see uh that's piper's um the nano suit is female only there is a male only that i can download but when you have both of them it's kind of quirky so usually i just get the female armored suit because most of the time i play female characters um and I put uh, Piper in something else. So I've got this until I do something with it. Um, and let's see. Oh, and that's her rifle. Okay. Now see, Tinker Tom got some money. That's what I'm talking about. But he doesn't really have anything else I need right now. So I will take your 16 caps and be happy. All right. Uh, so we got Deacon. We met everybody there. Let's get all the ammo and for now. Oh, they'll 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 stay quiet. God, give me all this shit, Tom. Everyone, uh, you could be hitting the cams way too hard, but I got my eyes open. I see. Yeah, you've been hitting the cams way too hard. Oops. You, you might want to pick that up, Tom. They got a weapons lab down here. That's that's pretty cool, though. All right. I'm not going to loot every little thing in here, but probably am. Uh, you ready to go, dude? Let's get out of here. Uh, let's go out the... Oh, wait, I didn't get all the uh, medical stuff. Sorry, Carrington, you left it laying out, son. All right. Now we're going to go out the escape tunnel. Uh, that's a purified water, but, oh, it's a caravan travel radio. Oh, that's cool. So I could actually let my phone go off, I guess, huh? Um, well, my car is right outside. M my car is actually right outside, but... Do I need supply kits here or caravan does not have enough supplies. So, okay. I will need to get some, uh, supply kits. And even though my car is out front, we're going to go out back and then we'll circle around and get the car. There you are. I 
then I'm wearing boots. Won't be able to hack this. Nope, can't hack that yet. Uh, there's some good stuff in there, and there's a fusion core. So, uh, and even even in vanilla, this is expert. So, um, it would be good if you could pick, if you could uh, hack that. If you need fusion cores, there's a little fusion core there, and then there's good stuff in there. Um, just so you know. I gotta work on my hacking skills, apparently. One of the main things I need to work on, though, is getting some damn money. Usually, by this stage, I've got 10,000 caps on me. But I realize Horizon makes things harder, including making money. Because a lot of stuff that I would just sell straight out is not worth any money. Um, and with the armor and weapons, you know, possibly being ruined or being deterior deteriorated 30 to 40% most of the time, they're not worth a lot of money either. Um, as a matter of fact, if they're hundred percent ruined, they're not worth any money. The only thing they're good for is scanning or ripping apart for, uh, for whatever materials you can get out of them. I'm going to have to go get some supply kits, though, because I would like to be able to teleport in and out of uh, the railroad. Because going through the church or going through the, the freaking tunnels every time is going to irritate me. Um, I know that from experience, because in vanilla survival, you don't fast travel either. And there's only two ways out of the railroad. Two ways in, two ways out. So, uh, but with the caravan... Uh, Things, you can at least, uh, you know, kind of uh, do a little fast traveling, you know. All right, let's make sure these guys uh, haven't respawned. They hadn't the last time I came through, so I think we're fine. That being said... <clears throat> And then we'll just go over to Bunker Hill and find what we're looking for. And talk to Carrington. It's an escort quest, but um, it's pretty decent experience and uh, it's not too bad to do it. Ah, I hate doing that. There we go. All right. Deacon's going to get to travel in style. Excuse me. All right, come on, come on. I think I complained about this in the last video, or maybe the one before that. 
about the really long load screens. That's what gives me the most about Fallout 4 is those long ass load screens. <clears throat> Here we go. All right. Now I think we need to actually we could go this way. I think. Yeah. Yeah, this way will be close. I don't need that. Cotton yarn gives you cloth and um hello. Are there super mutants? Yeah, there's super mutants that way. Okay. Uh, there's also a Meyer Lurk usually around here. Speaking of. You've got an Institute rifle and you just changed clothes twice. Wow. Okay, so I need to get back to Sanctuary. There's a lot of stuff that's supposedly ready. But let's talk to Stockton while we're here and then we can do that quest whenever. And there's no making this man happy because either he was expecting someone of the female persuasion or someone more heavily armed. Hey there. Welcome, my friend. Might I ask, do you have a Geiger counter? Mine is in the shop. You? I was expecting I'm someone who's got a lot of trade in the common economy. Watch out for people. You're with our mutual friend. Yes? Let's say I am. Of course. You've just joined, haven't you? All you need to know is this is the first stop for all our new citizens. So maintaining proper security here and preventing any unnecessary delays is crucial. A traitor always has to make his merchandise efficiently. Exactly. My current package has been in my possession far too long. I'm supposed to deliver the package to some place nearby, but raiders have complicated matters. So, if you could... Facilitate delivery. Hmm. I can do that. It's scheduled to be a nighttime delivery, so if you could clear out the undesirables before dawn, we can do it this night. Hmm. See you soon. Uh-huh. <laughs> Code words, code phrases, handshakes, all that good shit. Okay. But before we do that, uh, like I said, I'm going to go back to Sanctuary. And I want to look at this command desk again. And because we've got production storage, we've got all these mission storages, we got all this stuff going on, and I haven't figured out how to collect it all yet. <clears throat> But speaking of merchants and selling ammo and stuff, most of you merchants don't even sell ammo. They sell packaged ammo. Uh, and Grizzly and I were talking about that the other day. And it's kind of ridiculous that you can only buy packaged ammo. Although, I mean, like... At least the pay is terrible. Right, right. Thanks for stopping and telling me that. Um, you know, you uh, you go into a ammo store today you're gonna buy boxes of ammo but um you know like at gun shows and stuff you can buy single ammo um so it, it's kind of i don't i don't know if i don't know uh, if i like all of it or not but you know it is what it is uh okay so command missions Now we're supposed to be able to look over the missions that uh, 
Let's see, read completed task report. There we go. Um, that one was a success. That one failed. Success. Success. All right. That one failed. And this is everything that we've gotten. Some some meat from the hunters and not bad. Not oh look, two millimeter. Hell yeah. Alright, let's go back and let's read the last report. Failed. But we still got some parts and stuff. And there we go. Um, open mission container. It's all empty. So as you can see, we got it when we went through the reports. So let's deploy settlers. Um, all possible jobs. And we have nine total missions started. So that's good. Okay. And now production storage is here but there's nothing here now I saw the message that said production storage you know uh, but there's nothing here in production storage so I have no idea what's up with that um, I don't know um, uh, if we look at production management I have no purifiers, uh, but I'm making one supply kit. Uh, and I have one oil well here, but in production storage, I'm not getting anything. So I don't know. I, I don't really, I don't really understand how all of that works, but, um, I'll get it figured out eventually, but let's get something to eat. I'm still hungry. Huh? All right. Um, uh, 45 and there we go there we go um i have no purified water uh i don't have any money and i haven't been able to find those uh i haven't been able to find any of those uh, advanced filters but i'm fixing to see if i can make some uh i should be able to come over here to the tech lab uh let's see utility I can't make any supply kits because I don't have any carrots or purified water. But here's a purifier module. Um, but that's not exactly what it said I needed. I need an advanced filter, I think. Um, I'm going to make four of those because I have an idea of what I want to look at here. But yeah, I think this said advanced filters. Yeah, so I need to find advanced filters. Uh, and this, I can have Institute bottled water and I can make purified water. But what I want to do, uh, I've got everything crammed in here. Um, let me go, let me go down here. Now, utility, no, it's not going to be in there, I don't think. Let's go farming. No, I don't think that's going to be it. Uh, basic production water purification unit. Uh, this will add one purification rating and 40 bonus happiness. Uh, each purification rating requires 10 water rating to process. Okay. So, um, let's, let's look at, uh, construction depot, construction vehicle, fishing trap. We could do some of that water purification unit. It's the same thing as the other one. It's just a compact unit. But I need to know if it's going to give me purified water. Um, I 
I mean, hell. I have 16 purifier modules. Wow. Ooh. All right. Um, well, I'm going to... I'm going to build three of these if I can. All right, there's four of those. So that's going to be 40. That's going to be 40 water or uh, 40 power. I mean, I'm getting uh, confused here. So we're going to hook all these together. And let's go to generators. This produces 15. I need 40. So two is 30. Three would be 45. So we're going to. All right, let's hook all of those together. And there we go. Okay, so we have four purifiers now. Happiness is still going up too. I like that. Um, I need to turn off that beacon up there because we have 19 people and 20 beds. Uh, so until I get more building done here, I'm going to shut this off. Yeah, I'm going to shut that off for now. <sighs> okay, so I don't know. I don't know if that's going to actually give me some purified water or not. We'll have to uh we'll have to see. Now, let's see. Utility. Give me a flare gun. Hey, I can make the armored now. <laughs> But I don't, I still don't know if that's going to be better than Kellogg's outfit, but let me make the armor and let's have a look at it. Okay, so right now, uh, Kellogg's is 102, 112, and 5. Why did I make two? I didn't make two, did I? Okay, I can't have any utility. Ah, uh, yeah, look at that. 146 and 135. And that's even better, but I can't do that yet. All right. Um, now, Piper's was orange. We got tired of orange. Let's look at, uh, let's look at red. And I don't have any, I don't have any uh, legendary A fixes for it. But let's have a look here. Watch out, buddy. Okay, so right now I am at 252, 10, and 286. So basically 252 and 286. And then where's nano suit armored armored? And now I'm at 295, 309. So this is better. Now uh, it's not bad actually it's not bad okay and with the synth field helmet it's just awesome all right i can dig it okay um Let me go ahead and drop some of this other stuff off. I'm going to make some some um, units that's going to use this specialized gear. Uh, let's see. I'm going to... Let's put the spacesuit up for now. All right, I've got my jet pack and my night vision. I can't put that down. I can't put that down. Um, I'm going to put that on Deacon. Uh, 
All right. Um, where is that? And then that was five, five, six, I believe. Is that five, five, six? Yes. So. Ten rounds for five, five, six. That's what you're going to use. Give me just a second. I'll be right back. All right. Sorry about that. Okay, so he's got the assault rifle now. And I'm going to give him Kellogg's armored outfit. So there we go. And keep your sunglasses. All right. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Cool. All right, now I need to I need to drop some weight though. I'm still carrying around a lot of shit. Uh, I need some flares. Let me get. Let me. I'm gonna carry two of those. Um, flares. There we go. Give me ten. Ten flares. Uh, let's drop off all this crap. And I know the 556, five, I'm carrying a lot of that. So I'll tell you what. Let's drop. Let's, let's drop that down to a thousand rounds. <laughs> okay. Uh, that can go. Oh, uh, let's drop all that. That's getting us down even lower. That's good. Um, uh, we can drop that off. We got to keep the rest of this for now though. I'm keeping the overdue book for Daisy. These don't weigh anything, so they're not really hurting anything. Uh, we're going to put... We're going to put four of those up. We're going to keep two salvage beacons just in case. Uh, these actually do have weight. So I'm going to... Excuse me. <clears throat> wow. Sorry about that. That came out of nowhere. <clears throat> All right. So we're going to drop some of those off. Um, I'm still holding on to these. They, they really, I mean, they weigh two pounds. So uh, I'll get those figured out eventually. Hopefully. Uh, let's drop two of those off. Uh, we're going to keep those. You can have the dirty water. Uh, we're carrying a lot of food around, quite honestly. I'll drop that other stuff off in the compactor. And we're carrying a lot of drugs around. But um, I want to be able to, uh, you know, be safe. But let's drop... Um, let's just drop some of this stuff off. We don't need all of this. Okay. Uh, 
I definitely don't need nine injectors. I'll carry two just to get my companions up. Um, okay, that's good enough. I cannot drop off this. I have to keep that. That's my jet pack, and I can't drop that. Which, this weighs two pounds, so, you know, this is 1.2, but that's not really a lot. Um... Let's drop that. Okay, all right. That's what we're gonna go with. We're 190 pounds, so that's that's a lot better. Um, let's get the flare gun put on four. And then if I'm anywhere near where I have some artillery, I'll throw one of these. And this episode mostly turned out to be just maintenance stuff, but that's okay. All right. Um, I've already done the mail. Yeah. Okay. What time is it? Oh, okay. It's, it's, uh, it's bedtime. So eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two, three, four. Six, seven, yeah, fuck it, 12 hours. And I have parasites. And Piper is still up there typing. So maybe I should move a cot up there by her. Uh, that is one thing with assigning, uh, assigning, uh, your, uh, your romance option to, um, to a job. Let's see. Wait. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Um, I took the wrong thing. All right. Parasites. Uh, do I have any mosquito spit? No, but I'll take psycho tats. That'll get rid of parasites. All right, and then well fed. What? That's so stupid. Sorry, I had parasites, asshole. Purified water to make more melon juice. So great. All right, that's now I am out of mutant hound meat, but that's okay. And let's do that and that. And that, there we go. All right, store all that stuff and we'll throw the other stuff into uh composter and we should be ready to move out to do something. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and you always want to have water on you uh, so you can put the fire out when you get on fire. Now, uh, Grizzly did say something about me being on fire and yelling at Piper for being on fire. Um, psycho tats. Uh, the reason that uh, being, I'm supposed to have, uh, I'm supposed to have on some of my gear where I'm not able to be set on fire. Uh, but apparently it's not working or it's not on there. So, but let me go, uh, let me go check on Piper cause she didn't come down all night. Hmm. Modify myself. 
made it another day day. Yes. You, you know you're supposed to sleep <sighs> I could use that extra XP bonus uh, before we do anything though I'm gonna call it here we're in an hour and I have to take my dogs out uh, so I'm gonna have to catch you guys on the next one hope you're still enjoying and uh, just keep watching he's knocking on it he's ready to go man so I'll, I'll catch you guys on the next one thanks